this is Sajjad. I welcome all of you to our YouTube channel Trade with Asim and Sajjad. I'll be doing weekly analysis from 2nd of April till 6th of April 2018. Before moving to analysis, let's uh, have a look at economic calendar. Uh, you can see in the most of the countries uh, it's a holiday. Uh, so in half of the day might be very slow and unexpected moves a bit higher spread but then later afternoon then it can we can find uh, see some movement in the market especially for uh, jpy and uh, chinese yuan and then us dollar uh, Tuesday will be interesting because many of the traders will be back from their holidays so we might see some bigger uh, candles uh, spikes ups and down so uh, it's gonna be a very good day uh, also he heading with uh, some news data then Wednesday we also have some Australian news GBP and USD uh, especially for USD, ISM and then crude oil inventories uh, but Friday is a big day then because uh, NFP is there uh, if you can uh, look at the figures it's expected that uh, the result can be you know a bit weak for weaker for US dollar but I expect that there will be some good figures and we might see a jump up in the US dollar uh, also heading with the Canadian data and if it comes up with some good results then we can see a drop in USD cat pair and all other cat pairs accordingly so uh, I hope uh, previous week was very good uh, most of the traders made some good money uh, we were able to catch up some good trades uh, even for this week I wish we, we might find some good setups and just be careful on Monday then the rest of the week is gonna be great so let's start with the US dollar index and having a look at it uh, we can see uh, last uh, week uh, because of uh, US government decision to put tariff on uh, Chinese imports the market was uh, not very good for US dollar it came down but then uh, for uh, for a few days it went up but then Friday was much slower even the Thursday there was no, no such move but now m Monday will be almost the same but then from Tuesday I expect some uh, up, upward movement for US dollar and by the uh, by Thursday I think we, we might uh, witness 90.97 or even 91.0 and for NFP I think uh, uh, it might bring some good results for US dollar so in case it comes positive then my target for US dollar will be around 92.62 or above so let's hope we we are able to catch some good trades moving to euro usd here's euro usd very interesting just trying to go up all the time but then getting rejected and uh, right now it's uh, at the position like we might see an, another few more uh, one or two candles going sideways but most probably it's going down and my target is uh, 1.2090 until Thursday actually whatever I'll be analyzing it will be until Thursday and then Friday is a very special day we will be doing a special analysis of for Friday NFP so uh, we will see how it goes until Friday and then uh, there might be some interesting uh, moves on Friday so I think uh, Monday Tuesday Wednesday can be a bit sideways but then definitely until Thursday it's gonna come down and I'm looking at 1.2090 in case of US dollars weakness then it it's possible it can go to 1.25 again and if this time it comes here I, I think it's gonna break this level looking at GBP USD almost the same but uh, a bit stronger than euro I think so uh, almost all US pairs are gonna behave you know in a way same manner or making some patterns uh, similar to each other 
but uh, GBB, GBP can be interesting I think even it can go bit up and uh, maybe of until Tuesday it, it can go to 1.4140 area and then from here it can come down all the way to 1.38 or lower uh, until Thursday and then on Friday it will depend on the NFP uh, result so GBP uh, USD JPY is a very uh, good uh, pair for me I think this week I am much interested in this it was such a good call from here uh, many traders were able to uh, having a long trade from here though for the last two days it didn't do well and tomorrow too it can be uh, in the same uh, position but then I'm looking at the upper level around 109.55 or above uh, till th Thursday and on Friday it might just reach around 110 and above or uh, 111 you might see this figure just in case it uh, dollar doesn't do well then it's uh, going again to 104.7 and then the next week will be very interesting uh, to trade uh, USD JPY so let's move to USD CHF uh, I think uh, for the last few weeks USD CHF is the best performing currency if we compare to other currencies and it's doing very well you know just making uh, higher high lower high and uh, right now it's in such a good position I'm looking at 0.97 0 0.9750 and above and most probably till Friday it's even heading higher uh, maybe we can see 0.9828 even if we can see the 4 hour chart for USD CHF here it is so in my view it's all almost just it will try to come down a little bit until here and then uh, straight away it will fly to 0.97 and then on Friday we might see a very big move up in uh, USD CHF that's the hourly chart on even on an hourly chart you can see it's just uh, in a very strong position actually so I don't I won't recommend any sell position here but uh, if it uh, breaks this level and then uh, retest and then later I will be interested to sell it but so far it's looking very good and I am bullish on USD CHF well, let's see USD CAD uh, USD CAD also doing very well and that the only thing which concerns right now is uh, on the Friday Friday when uh, NFP and also uh, Canadian news so uh, it, it might just you know try to go up until Thursday and on Thursday we might see a big drop again and it might just come back to this level I think uh, maybe we can see 1.2895 again on Friday but until Thursday it's supposed to go up all the way and maybe higher maybe it can just come to 1.33 in case of uh, weaker Canadian data then it's uh, supposed to touch 1.3340 and above let's see Australian dollar Australian dollar is so very weak actually if you can see all the way it's been almost a month it's uh, just coming down just trying uh, hard you know, to consolidate or um, go higher from here it, it looked good actually on Thursday and but then on Friday market didn't do anything and even now maybe until uh, Tuesday it can just come up to point uh, seven seven four one again and then from here it can it just get rejected the price and then it's heading toward point seven four nine nine or point seven five so I'm uh, more bearish on Australian US dollar pair uh, but it can just uh, go sideways or you know retrace a bit so but I won't be interested to uh, buy it from here or even sell I will just wait until this level and from here I will uh, sell it same is same story goes for the New Zealand dollar though it, it's much stronger than uh, Australian dollar 
but it's also you can see just trying to go sideways or it's almost in this uh, channel uh, just going sideways but it will be interesting to see uh, how it behaved this week uh, though I'm a bit uh, confused uh, no clear direction actually but uh, in the long run it's definitely going down and uh, till Friday I'm looking at 0 0.70 it might just reach this level and uh, but for the next two or three days it, it definitely can try to touch 0 0.7300 so coming to our last pair gold and I think uh, those traders who are uh, regular regularly trading on gold uh, are having very good time we all uh, were able to long from here and then also traded in a uh, short tr trades and uh, um, I, I hope most of you have made some good money uh, right now it looks like uh, for next two days it, it might just retrace a bit or may go sideways but in the longer run it's uh, heading to 1303 and uh, until Thursday and then uh, after NFP uh, I think it might come quite low maybe we can see not that sure but even 1266 but uh, at least uh, 1280 to 1275 it might be a spike it can just touch and go up but if you are able to enter somewhere here like I won't suggest to enter at the news time but if you find let's say after 30 minutes from NFP if you are able to long gold I think it's a very good trade and in the longer run it's heading to 1400 so who knows uh, any of one us uh, able to enter at this, that level and I wish you a very good luck and uh, I hope all of us can uh, make some good money in this week too uh, please take care those who haven't uh, subscribed yet please subscribe to our channel and share with your friends uh, if you have any suggestion please do comment and I will see you on Friday again until then take care and bye bye